today I'm going to be showcasing the autopilot with the truck or tractor with the truck station. First we're going to do the autopilot first. So what I always do is start off on your drop off location first. Let's go ahead and go here. Go to start recording. Wait a couple seconds. This gives it time for your like right down there will be our pickup. Gives it time for that location to gather its resources. Wait a couple seconds. Now it's the time you want to wait. It's different. Then go ahead and drive on over to your pickup location. You can see you actually don't have to be directly underneath the claws you can see there so picked it up same thing I will always wait a couple more seconds here this gives it time for your drop location to unload all the items into whatever storage type system you're doing once you do that go ahead and head on back to your drop location there's nothing in here so it's not gonna do anything but if it was, you would see it be moving back and forth. Once you feel satisfied, go ahead and do finish recording. As you can see, it actually creates a hollow points where it shows you where it's driving. As you see, I have another one that goes off in distance for my coal pickup. But once you get all that, it should automatically start driving. Actually, let's go back in. Make sure, okay. The bottom right, not recording, autopilot active, yes. Okay, so any second now, as you can see, it, it started. It's doing the wait like I was telling it to, and then the second will start going. So we're going to look at the truck station. Now the truck station, there's a couple inputs outputs. You have, on this one specifically, you have two inputs, or two outputs, one input. This right side that is close to these two silos, this one here is the fuel. Any fuel, so for example, I have coal being pumped into here. Once it comes in here, it will automatically top off just the fuel section up to 100 coal in this instance. So this is good. You pretty much want to make sure you have it, otherwise your tractor or truck will run out of power. Other than that, that's all you gotta do. You can see on this right side, I have a light belt coming out. This actually is feeding my oil. I have a setup in the distance where it picks up the oil, dries back, loops in here, drops it off, tops off with the coal which this coal gets dumped in, and then goes all the way back down to the other one. So as you can see, this will just drive in circles. You can see now it's doing the, what, the wait time like I was having to do, and then the second will go over there. So with the pickup, or no this would be the, this will be the pickup. You would input your coal into here, which same thing, this will always be your fuel for the item. And on these two, this will be your input, and this will be your output. Not sure why there's an input, even though if you come in here and you set this, so whatever is highlighted is what it does. So loading means it loads the vehicle, obviously. I'm not sure why there is an output when it's only inputting, but it is what it is. I guess if you want to cycle items back into and out to it so something else you can do that but other than that it's pretty simple just make sure the biggest thing is make sure you have your unloading and loading correctly and then make sure you have fuel being pumped into the fuel side so it can refuel your trucks i recommend only putting fuel into the unloading side which would be your drop off which would be your base or one of your base i would say um other than that, not much you gotta do. It's pretty simple. I would also recommend going slow on your points. Uh, it's better to verify and make sure that your truck is driving a safe route versus a fast route. Consistency is key in this instance. Now it's a speed. That way you can have multiple. Now you can see they do go backwards to get back in their spot. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Hope y'all enjoyed and uh, have fun setting up those routes.